Many of the gadgets on display at CES are speculative. Things consumers can't get their hands on today, and some that won't arrive on store shelves at all. One of those forward-looking technologies is 5G, the fifth-generation wireless standards that are expected to pack a lot more data into the airwaves and make smartphone wireless connections faster than the typical tethered broadband connection is today. That could enable huge improvements in video resolution and open up new applications for virtual reality, drones, self-driving cars and other technology that relies on shipping or receiving data quickly. Some companies announced early steps in that effort here Wednesday. Intel introduced its first 5G modem, codenamed Goldridge, and said it expects the device to ship to customers in the second half of this year. The chipmaker largely missed the mobile revolution, but analysts say the arrival of 5G and its demand for the kind of processing prowess Intel amassed from powering personal computers gives the company an opportunity to grab a bigger slice of the massive mobile market. AT&T said Wednesday that it had reached speeds of up to 14 gigabits per second in lab trials, and would roll out a test of that kind of high-speed capability for some of its direct TV customers in Austin, Texas, this year. The company has partnered with Intel, Qualcomm, and Ericsson for other trials. Most consumers still have a while to wait for the wireless pass lane. Widespread use of 5G isn't expected until 2020.